sweetheart. How are you feeling? You okay? Well, yeah, I know it's recess time. What brings you in? You got an itchy head? Okay, not to worry. I can definitely take a look at it. Has it just started today? It's been a couple of days now. Did you let mom know? No, no, don't worry. I can let mom know. It's no problem at all. Well, let's see. I'll take a good look at it, but I'll write you in here. What class are you in? Oh, isn't she the sweetest? Have you ever seen the movie Matilda? That's one of my favorites, too. She really reminds me of Miss Honey. Yeah, the sweetest. Yes, yes, I bet she has the best play centers. Painting, I bet you are quite the little artist. Really? Did she love it? Oh, I can only imagine. It's a really thoughtful present. Oh, yes. I'm sure she hasn't hung up on her fridge or on her wall somewhere. It's in the classroom. Well, then there you go. She must love it. Can I get your name, sweetheart? What a beautiful name. And your last name, please. Do you have a little sister? Yeah, she just started kindergarten, hey? I know. Uh, she came in the other day for an upset tummy. Is she feeling better? Tummy flu. Oh, that's no good. Oh. Well, I hope she feels better. You can send her my love. Big hugs, okay? she at home with mom? Dad, oh, well hopefully she's eating lots of chicken noodle soup and juices, resting up. The Frozen movies, oh those are really good. Anna and Elsa, I mean they can cheer anyone up. Oh yes, very magical. I personally love the sing-along one. Exactly. Okay. So you came from... Julia's class, okay. And it's actually gonna be recess time soon, hey? Yeah, okay. Well, we'll try to get you out for recess, but I do want to take a good look at your, at your head. So you said it's itchy? Okay. How long has it been itching for? A couple days now, right? Yeah, silly me. I Look at me, I'm already forgetting things. That's why I have to write things down. See, as you get older, you start to forget little things. Really? How old do I look? Oh. <laughs> You're off by a little bit, but I won't take it personally. <laughs> oh, you're very sweet, darling. Okay. And so, is it itchy all over? Just itchy at the front? At the top, really at the top, hey? Yeah, I can see it's kind of frizzy. You've been really scratching at it. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna check something because I think there might have been a lice outbreak in your class last week. One second, sweetheart. Are you hungry at all? Do you want me to get you a snack? I can get you um, some orange slices from the office, some milk. So there was a life outbreak in your class. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah, he had an itchy head too. Yeah, so probably got passed on to you, but it's nothing to worry about. Mm, yeah, so lice are basically just like these little bugs, but they're not nice bugs. Um, yeah, I guess you could sort of think of it like that. And that's why they make you so itchy, okay? So what we have to do is we just have to comb them out of your hair very gently. I'll be really gentle and delicate combing through. And we'll try to get them all out, okay? Yeah, it might take a while. We'll see how many little lice you have on your head. But if you're really, really itchy, it might take a bit. But 
don't worry, we'll get you all better, okay? Nope, it shouldn't hurt you at all. It's basically just like me brushing through your hair. Has your mom or dad ever brushed through your hair? Yeah, it can make you sleepy, hey? It's really relaxing. Maybe you'll fall asleep. Oh. No, no. Um, you'll have to sit up and then we'll brush through the lice. Unfortunately, you can't take a nap. But if you fall asleep sitting up, then... <laughs> Yeah, I bet it would be very hard to fall asleep standing up. You're right. You just fall right over. Okay, so just making a couple notes here. I'm going to call you said your dad's at home right now with your sister. Okay, well I'll call dad and let him know then. I'll call him after, okay? Oh no, it be really easy. Like I said, we'll just comb them right out. Yeah, so what I have is I have these really special combs, magical combs, and they'll get through every little bit of hair and get all the little lice bugs out. And mm -hmm, yeah, so it does hurt the bugs, okay? They'll basically go for a really, really, really long nap as you could say, but it's important that we get these bugs out of your head because they can spread and then imagine you'll have thousands in your hair. Yeah, we don't want that. That would just be crazy, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Oh my goodness, no. So it's a good thing you came in to see me today. I'm proud of you for coming in. Okay. Well, let's take a look then. I see actually here that you came in a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and I think I bandaged up your knee. You had a cut from recess. Feeling better? Yeah, let me take a look. Yeah, it looks all better. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I know. It's very, very brave. Okay, well, I'm going to take a look at your head then. You can just sit up on this little table I have here, okay? And then I'm gonna go grab some gloves. I'll be right back. Okay, sweetheart, how are you? How are you feeling up very comfy? Good, I'm glad. I'm just gonna put on these gloves. Aren't these cute? Pink is my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Oh, look at that. Then we're besties. Clean. Oh, does your sister like nature? Really bugs. Wow. She is definitely a lot more brave than me. I don't love bugs. Oh, don't worry. I am brave enough to get off the bugs on your head. So what I'm going to do first, okay, is I'm just going to take a look. Oh, no, you don't have to be nervous at all. Here, I have this little lamb squishy. It's kind of like fun to just squish around and we're to almost drop. <laughs> but he kind of looks like a little galaxy llama. I think an alpaca llama? What do you think? Yeah, kind of like a llama, hey? Do you want to squish him around? You can play with him while I get the bugs off your head. Okay, I'll give that to you then. Okay. Yep, you can squeeze him and he'll take all your worries away. He's really good at that. We should probably give him a name. Larry the Llama. I love it. I love it. That was a really good pick. So I'm just going to take a look here at your hair first. And see just the extent of what we're dealing with here in terms of those little bugs. And then you have whereabouts they're concentrated. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of tilt your head a bit. Good, is that okay? Okay, you let me know if you're uncomfy at all. Good. Okay, yeah. And there as well. So they are starting to go down the sides of your head too. You have such beautiful hair, oh my goodness. Is so long. Have you been growing it out since you were a baby? My goodness. Well, it is so beautiful. Yes, it is. Okay. 
I love the color. Yeah. Did you grow it yourself? Well, then there you go. Okay. I do think your hair is probably longer than mine, yes. So, I have this here. Doesn't it look like I'm, um, a detective? Right. Magnifying glass, do you want to take a look through? You can maybe read the sign over there. How to wash your hands. I know you know how to wash your hands, silly. I'm just going to use this and take a good look at your head, okay? Up close. It shouldn't hurt at all, hey? Yeah, I bet it's kind of tickly. Oh, that's true as well. I bet you it feels nice having me touch your head. It's probably so itchy, hey? Don't worry, we'll soothe it today and we'll help make it less itchy and get rid of those bugs. I can see that your scalp here is pretty red and inflamed, which just means that it's a bit sore. You've been really scratching it a lot. Yeah, do you ever find that you get little flakes that come? off your head or like under your nails, like little tiny skin flakes, like dry skin. A little bit. Okay, yeah. Seeing that as well. I might just make note of that to let your parents know too, okay? Just because you might need a bit of extra hydration on your scalp. <laughs> no, not like water, like a, like a cream almost, or like a Premier shampoo. So help. Okay, set that down. Just gonna make note of that so I don't forget. Okay. Oh no, lots of people get those little skin flakes, especially when the seasons change and we are coming into spring here, so make sense. No, well, no, nothing to worry about at all. It'll be fixed right up and easy with some new shampoo. There's actually a shampoo for it specifically. It's um, called Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes. Just Head and Shoulders, but do you know that song? Yeah, it's a really good one. Even when I went to school, we would sing it. No, I was not in school a hundred years ago. <laughs> Good guess. Um, much less than that. Well, probably your age? Oh, I don't even know. Can't count that high yet. Okay, yeah. Do see quite a few there. Okay. Just taking a look more at the back here. You can see there, there are yeah, a lot of bugs at the back. Okay. Oh, don't mind me. Sometimes, as adults, we just talk to ourselves. We're pretty funny, hey? Okay. What I'm gonna do now is I've taken a pretty good look. I have this a plastic brush. It's really easy for me to clean. That's why I like it. So I'm just going to brush through your hair a bit to get out any tangles so it'll be easier for me to comb through and get out any of those lice bugs, okay? Oh, an Elsa brush, hey? Yeah, those are really cool. I think those are the special detangler ones. I can't believe how long your hair is. So gorgeous. I wish my hair was as long as yours. Oh yeah, so many people do. Okay. Such beautiful hair. Very, very gorgeous. Plus, 
I just know you're so smart and talented too because you were telling me about your artwork. Yeah, do you paint a lot at home as well? I bet mom and dad must be so proud of you. I can only imagine. Did you really? Wow, that is really good grade. That's amazing. Me? No, not yet. you at all, am I? Okay, good. Just trying to be really gentle and brush through here. You can lift your head up a little bit. Thank you, darling. Okay. Good. You got a bit of a knot here at the back. Does mommy usually brush your hair for you in the mornings or does dad? Okay. Did she brush it today? I see. It's a really busy morning, hey? Yeah, sometimes it be kind of, it can be kind of chaotic when one of the siblings is homesick and the parent has to stay home and everyone's kind of rushing around, hey? Okay, well that's okay. I can brush it out for you now. Just might have to remind mom to brush your hair every day for school, but I can do that. No, no, don't worry. I can always remind her. It's important to have brushed hair, especially hair this long. Do you normally just wear it down or, or in a ponytail? Yeah, it's nice to have it out of your face. Then everyone can see your gorgeous face. Okay, just lifting your head up a little bit there. Good. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, there is quite a bit. your hair a bit more just so it's a bit easier for me to see perhaps there we go there really see there's just a large clump all the lice in the top center of your hair that's what we call the crown of the head so that's where they're all hanging out. They've made quite a comfortable little nest there. I don't blame them because your hair is so soft. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got my special magical solution. And this is going to make your hair wet, okay? But it's going to help me comb through and get up all of the lice bugs, okay? Uh, no, it doesn't really smell like too much. Doesn't smell too strong at all, but it is going to make your hair a bit damp, okay? Opening it. Do you think you can twist that for me? I think you have stronger muscles. Do you want to have that one for now? 
Yeah, you can look around the room with it while I comb your hair. This one, isn't that one nice? Red. Then I have a blue one. This one kind of matches my shirt, hey? Okay, got lots of fun combs there. Okay, good. So I'm just going to use the blue one first. Get a tissue here. Good. And I'm going to wipe off all of the bugs on the tissue, okay? just the best. Okay. Oh. And what was that like? Okay. Is science your favorite subject? Oh, art. Yes, how silly of me. You know, my favorite subject in school math. I know a lot of people don't like math. You don't like it either, hey? Guess I'm kind of a weirdo, but I loved math so much. I loved all the numbers. thought it was so fun, but I also really liked art as well. You know, I paint sometimes, although I bet I'm not as good of a painter as you. Um, not as much as I used to, just because I'm here now and I have to take care of all the students that come in with tummy aches or itchy heads, whatever it may be, and help them feel better. It is a big job, I know, hey? takes a while. You just have to be really detailed. Sometimes in art, you know, when you have to make all those little details. Exactly, just like that. Good. You are 
being so brave, such a trooper, doing really, really well. Oh yeah, I'm really proud of you. Especially also for coming in and letting me know that you had an itchy head. That's really important. It is, it really is. Because then we can get all of these bugs out before they spread to other classmates. And although sharing is caring, not in the case of lice. hair is almost a little bit too long for my comb here. I know. Yeah, I know. Still working away here. Can I just tilt your head a little bit that way? Thank you, darling. You're doing so good, like I said. Really brave. You're being so patient. How's Lama? Is he keeping you company? He is a really do you have lots of friends at school here? Yeah, what do you guys like to play at recess? Dag, right, that's how you hurt your knee. Oh, he must be so fast. Mmm, capture the flag, that is a fun one. I used to even play that in school. Well, it wasn't that long ago, sweetheart, but, but yes, even back then. Okay, good, we're doing really well here, getting all of these bugs out, I'm so proud of you. What else do you play? Do you like to play soccer, any sports? Yeah, what sports do you play? Love dance. It's so fun, hey? Yeah, that makes sense because you're very artistic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like to do ballet, jazz, <gasps> acrobatics, so you're flexible? Oh my goodness. Can you do the splits? Oh, that is so cool. I always wanted to be able to do the, the middle splits, but I never could. I know it takes a lot of stretching, hey? You have to be really dedicated, so it's really impressive that you can, you can do that. Oh yeah, how long have you been doing dance for? As long as you can remember. Well, your parents must have put you in classes when you were really little. Wheel? Oh, that's scary. I can never do that. Well, I can imagine. You must have to do like a running start, hey? Yeah, need the momentum. Okay. You do have some of the sides there, too. How's this side look? You do have some on the side of your head as well, sweetheart. Do you mind just tilting it a little? Thank you. You're doing so well, though. One. There we go. Good. It's really good. Ooh. That was a really good one. Oh my goodness. Do 
want to see all the bugs we got out. Isn't that so many? It can be kind of weird to think about how all those little bugs were in your hair, hey? Oh, it's crazy, I know. They must just really like you. I mean, how could they not? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I like you. We're friends. We already established that we have the same favorite color. Do you have any plans with mom and dad this weekend? Birthday party? Is it for someone in your class? Oh, okay. Well, we'll try and get this sorted, but gotta try and avoid making contact with people while you have these bugs in your hair, okay? Like I said, I'm trying to get as many as I can out right now. But, um, still important to avoid touching or, like, hugging your classmates, for example. You definitely cannot share, don't want to be sharing hats or anything like that. No, not even if Katie has really, really cool earmuffs. You don't want to be sharing those. Although it is starting to get warmer out, so you shouldn't need a toque or earmuffs for much longer. I know sometimes the weather here can be so crazy. Do you like the summertime more or the winter time? Yeah, personally. Just tilting your head here, go darling. Personally, I prefer the summertime because it's warm and I love the beach. Do you love the beach? I know, and then you can make sand castles, you can go swimming. I like to do this thing called paddle boarding. Have you heard of it? Well, it's basically kind of like a long surfboard, and then you stand up on it and you paddle around. It's basically like lazy surfing. Oh, it is so fun, and I just enjoy it. It's relaxing. I just paddle around with, yeah, kind of like a canoe paddle. And you just stand up and enjoy the scenery and the sunshine. I mean, you would probably be so good at it because with dance, you have such good balance. Yeah, you need to have really good balance, right? Because you're standing on this floating board in the water. So, if you've got good balance, then you'll be a pro. You can even do yoga on them. Oh, yeah. You know, one time I did a headstand on it. Oh, it was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. It was really cool. I was very proud of it. No, my mom didn't see because she wasn't with me at the time. I was just by myself paddle boarding, but you're right. I should next time tell my mom to look. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. They're so proud of you. Do they go to your recitals? Yeah. Oh. What's your favorite one that you've done so far? Oh. Were you really? always lucky to get a solo. I, um, I, when I did dance, I never did a solo, but I always wanted to. I thought it would be so cool. But they're so hard because you have to be so brave out there on stage and remember everything. Oh, yeah. I think I just probably get a little bit of stage fright, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Do you not get stage fright at all? Well, then maybe I might have to have you help me. Although I don't have any recitals coming up anytime soon, so I should be okay. Okay. 
I'm going to get into some of these smaller areas with that red comb, okay? And just get some of these smaller ones out. Good. These ones are a little bit trickier. These ones are kind of like baby bugs, so a bit harder to get out, but don't worry. We are definitely getting there. You're doing so good. I'm absolutely so, so, so proud of you. Honestly. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to comb out as many as I can, but you, I'll let mom and dad know, and they'll probably have to do some combing as well, okay? So, you can get these little combing kits at the store, and they'll comb through your hair. And, I mean, it'll actually be pretty nice because I think it'll just be like you're getting your hair brushed all the time. It'll be so silky soft after two. or just acrobatics. Oh, wow. You know, I was never very good at hip-hop. No, I just, it's a bit trickier for me. But it's really impressive that you can do all different types of dance. I know your sister's what, two, two years younger than you. Do any any sports or dance or anything? Okay. Oh, really? Ice skating, that's really cool. That's kind of just like dancing but on ice, hey? Oh, she wants to do hockey. Well that makes sense, yeah. Maybe wait until she gets a little bit bigger because then she gets more confident skating. It's a good way to do it, yeah. Really? I didn't know that. That's a very cool fun fact. Look at you. So smart. Okay, you're doing so well. I'm really proud of you here. I'm just going to use this orange comb. Try and get any more than I can. One is just, isn't that a fun noise? I always find that so satisfying with the with the comb bristles, hey? Sleepy at all? A little bit. Oh my 
Maybe you can go home after school and have a nice nap. Oh, you're such a good big sister. No, it's good that you guys get along so well. That's really nice. Me? Yeah, I do. I actually have a little brother. I know. He's older than you now, but I still remember when he was your age. Yep, I still do. Time goes by so fast. Is that what us old people say? Probably. Because we're old. <laughs> okay, good. Got a few nods here. Okay. Just going to comb out your hair again, just because it's starting to get pretty tangled. So, do, when you grow up, do you want to be a dancer then? You want to be Taylor Swift, oh my goodness. So you want to be a singer, like a pop star? Well, I don't think you can grow up to be the Taylor Swift. Um, but you know, you could definitely become a pop star. Do you like to sing? And there you go, you could write your own songs and travel around the world singing. Wouldn't that be so cool? And dancing, yes, of course. Good. is a little bit tricky for me. It's putting up a little bit of a fight. Your mom finds that too. Yeah, I bet. I'm on her side with it. I almost don't blame her for rushing out the door and forgetting to brush her hair. scalp is sore from all the itching as well. Try not to scratch at it though, okay? I know it feels good, but it is only going to irritate your scalp more, so just try to avoid it if you can. Not a ton, but at least you can get some fresh air. Maybe play one game of tag or something.
Well, that's pretty good there. Now, unfortunately, you do still have a few little bugs. It's pretty tricky to get them all out. We'll say so. You know what? I might just have to call your dad and see if he can come and pick you up, okay? Just because you do have a pretty good amount of bugs still in there. You know, it's actually... They've, they're pretty comfortable in there. I don't blame them. Think of how much they get to see. They get to go to the dance studio. They get to see all your gorgeous paintings. Oh my goodness. So, I think that it's probably best if he can pick you up. But if not, that's okay. We can just put your hair back at least. Now, I do have a... One second, sweetheart. I'll be right back. I do have here this comb, okay? And so I'm just going to dip it in this little solution here. It's kind of a little bit oily, okay? But it's going to soothe the scalp and it's going to make it feel so much better because I know right now it's just so itchy. Yeah, I can only imagine. Don't worry, this is going to soothe it. Make it feel so, so much better. It'll also help with the feeling of the itchiness, so you'll be a bit less itchy too, which will help. Okay, good. And more of that as well. Okay. Oh, well, I've got a ton of all these magical potions and whatnot. and everything. Kind of like the school version of Elsa. That's true. I am not frozen, but... No, I sadly cannot make ice sculptures. I wish I could. Or make a forever snowman. Wouldn't that be cool? Who is your favorite character? Oh, yeah. Elsa. I mean, she's a classic. How can you really go wrong? I personally love Olaf, though, and the reindeer. Yeah, him. Such a good movie. You know what my favorite movie was growing up? Lilo and Stitch. I loved Lilo and Stitch. Have you ever seen that one? Oh, um, yeah. It's not for everyone. It's not everyone's favorite, but I loved it. I loved Stitch, and I thought that it was just so pretty when they would go swimming and surfing. No, I don't know how to surf. I wish. Imagine, wouldn't it be so cool and get to see all the fishies and whatnot? Do you like to go swimming? Really? Oh. Well, you know, you don't have to be afraid of going swimming in pools or, or lakes because there's no sharks there. Where do you normally go swimming? Oh, silly. There's no sharks at the leisure center. <laughs> that would definitely be a big issue. Plus, you can see the bottom of the pool, so you know it's safe. Well, yeah, there's no sharks hiding in clear water. You'd see them. Plus, I mean, how would they even fit through the locker room door? go and swim at the pool. Feel comfortable knowing that there's no sharks now. Yes, well, hopefully I made you feel a little bit better. Good. Okay. Oh, I'm just applying this really everywhere where I did the combing as well, and just where it's really red and inflamed, okay, sweetheart? can tell that your scalp is really going through it. It is sore, hey? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Now, don't worry, though. It's really good you came in today. We can get you all fixed up here. Okay. Good. Just a little bit more at the back. 
then we'll tie your hair back so it's out of your face. It's probably good anyways if you're going out for recess for a bit. But I will call your dad and see if he can come and get you. Just because lice are really jumpy. You know in dance when you have to do, for example, like the jeté, do do jetés? Yeah, jump and you do the splits in the air. Well, lice can do that from your head to another head. And then you give one of your classmates lice, which is probably what happened to you and why your friend gave you lice, but it wasn't on purpose, of course, it was an accident. Um, but that's probably what happened, and now you have lice, and like I said, sharing is not really caring in this case, but we'll be really careful and tie your hair back, and it's all smooth now. Make sure those lice don't go to another friend. But the solution that I put in your hair, okay, is also going to kind of make the lice sick. So they're not really going to be as active, you could say. Yeah, in a way. So they're not really going to be jumping from your head to another head. So if we tie it back, you should be fine. Does dad have a car, do you know? Yeah? Okay. Maybe he can come grab you, but he's at home with your sister. I don't know if she'll be well enough to come for a car ride, too. I bet, yeah, she must be so sleepy and tired. Just tying your hair back, okay, sweetie? Do a ponytail. Do it a little bit higher so that it's off. No, I'm sadly not very good with hairstyles, otherwise I would love to give you a French braid or something like that, but... Yeah, I bet your mom is. Does she do your hair for dance competitions? Yeah. My mom used to do my hair and makeup for dance competitions, too. I had to wear these crazy eyelashes, bright red lipsticks. Kind of put it up in a bun there, so it's or not. We'll try again, sweetheart. Got a lot of hair. So work out with all that hair of yours. It's good though. Try again here. Tying it up. Just tying it up in a bun so that it's off the back of your neck as well. Good, there we go. Wow, look at that. You know, that is what we would say a very um, gorgeous Pinterest messy bun. Yeah, as old people have weird sayings. Okay, so I'm going to clean off my combs here put them back in my magical case. You wanna watch? Yeah. It's always nice to see exactly what's happening. It makes us feel a bit more comfortable. But see, the lice aren't anything that we should be too, too scared of. We just comb them out and we clean everything and we can put them back in, okay? The equipment, that is. We won't be putting the lice back in. Disinfects everything all nice and clean. And I am so so proud of you. You did so good today. You asked questions too. You were just so sweet and very, very brave. Yes, of course. Very brave. I'm so proud of you. And I can't wait to tell your dad how brave you are as well, and he'll tell mom. Such a little one, hey? It's cute. Do you have those? Oh. Mrs. Julia is the best. She has all the coolest stuff in her classroom, hey? Okay, well, 
I'm going to then just call your dad. I'll let you head out so you can get a bit more of recess playtime, okay? But I'm so proud of you. You did so, so good today. And hopefully your sister feels better, okay? Yeah, you won't be able to come to school tomorrow, but you'll get a long weekend. You'll just stay home with your sister. Maybe you guys can watch Frozen together. How about that? Yeah, you should watch Lilo and Stitch. You should watch Lilo and Stitch and let me know if you like it. It's my favorite. Yeah. I agree. Okay, how's that? The back, it's not hurting at all, is it? Okay, good. How'd you like playing with little llama? I know he's so cute, isn't he? Sadly, you can't keep him just because I have to keep him for the other students, right? They've got a sore tummy or something. Larry the llama will make him feel better. But don't worry, I'll let them know that you named him. Okay. Well, her hair is all good to go then. So, like I said, make sure you're not sharing any hats outside at recess. You're not giving any hugs. Um, not getting too close during tag or anything. And if you hear your name being called down to the office, don't worry, you're not in trouble, sweetheart. That just means that your dad is coming to pick you up, okay? There's not too long left in the day, so if he can't come now, he'll just come at the end of school. Okay, but like I said, I'm so proud of you. You did really, really good today. And I hope you have fun at recess. Enjoy a bit of sunshine. Okay, you hungry at all? You need a snack before you go? Okay, you just, just come back down to the office if you're hungry. Okay, I'll let you go have some fun at recess.